Hey guys, welcome back to Burgess Made. It's been a long time since I have posted a painting video. I don't know what got into me today. I just wanted to make, I wanted to paint. It's been like a year. Um, and, and not because I didn't want to paint. It's kind of my woo-saw. I love doing it. But I just, I bought a house and I haven't had time to come down to the garage and in fact, I didn't even have my table over here. It was at the other place and uh, got everything set up. And I don't know, I just decided to come down and I don't know what got into me. It was just, I got the bug. And now that I got the bug, I think I'm gonna be at it for the next six months, painting the Necron Tesseract Bowl. So today I uh, plugged in my airbrush and it didn't work, of course. It's been a long time, so it was gunked up with a bunch of shit. So I did um, disassemble it. I broke broke it down completely, um, rebuilt it, cleaned it with lacquer thinner. Um, it wasn't spraying anything, so I had to do that. And then uh, it was spraying beautifully. So I was able to get through this. Uh, I'm using the Alclad 2. This is lacquer, so I did have to wear a mask. Uh, for this, I do have my ventilation going. You can see all that black. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I got. <sighs> yeah, it's already dry. Um, I got all these pieces primed up. I didn't prime the uh, Necron himself because I don't want to put him black. I don't want to prime him black. I'm going to do a gray, prime a gray on him because he's going to be a green. Um, but all these panels up here. I just went ahead and primed. The shitty part is the, the instruction manual doesn't actually, it's not a color guide, it's just a, a, a black and white, so, um, you know, of course, I'm just going to have to go, go online and Google what it looks like or what it's supposed to look like, but I do have all the colors, um, you know, that I need already. I bought these a long time ago with the intention of painting this, but then, like I said, we bought the house, and then um, we just got carried away with that. But no, the old airbrush is doing good. I got it all clean. She was spraying beautifully after, you know, just cheating on this primer. So stay tuned for uh, the process to uh, paint this Necron Tesseract Vault by Games Workshop. Um, I scoured the internet for a instructional video on how to paint this guy. It's a, and I didn't find anything. So there isn't a guy out there that's has a video on how to paint this. So I think that this is going to be huge. So I'm going to go ahead and do a very, very detailed videos. They're going to be long. You know, we're talking maybe 40, 50 minutes per episode. But at the end, we're going to get a very, very nice finished product. It's probably going to take me six to nine months to paint this guy. So stay tuned. Uh, like and subscribe. Hit the bell notification if you want to follow along with this um, build. Uh, because like I said, this is the only video that I've... I haven't even seen a video out there, an instructional video on how to paint this guy. So if you're into the larger miniatures... Like I am from Games Workshop, this is going to be a huge video for you, so make sure you subscribe, hit the bell if you want to see uh, the process. Thank you guys, and I'll see you on the next one.